Terminal customization can be a rabbit hole, similar to choosing your main operating system. My advice is, keep it simple and use whatever makes you productive. Now let's go one step further, let's install ZShell or ZSH, I'm not really sure. This is an alternative to Bash, enabling more customization out of the box, because we are going to use an improved version of ZShell called Oh My ZShell or Oh My ZSH, I'm not really sure. This is very well known and it brings a lot of flavor into the terminal. Let's type sudo apt install zshell, enter the password, confirm with yes, and we have zshell. If we open a new terminal and if we type zshell, we see the new zshell configuration, which is very minimalistic and this isn't what we want. We want to improve this using the oh my zshell. So we have zshell already. Let's go to github.com slash oh my zshell slash oh my zshell. And here we can find the installation steps. We can install it using wget. So let's copy this piece of code, go to the terminal, paste it. Do you want to change your default shell to Z shell? Let's type yes, password, and we already see a different flavor of the prompt. We are using oh my Z shell. We can see the current folder that we are working at and it already identifies automatically that is a git folder and the current branch you can go to the home folder. You don't see anything regarding git because this is not a git folder. Let's go into git. Let's go into data engineering zoom camp and we see the git branch again. Okay, so if we open another terminal, we see that now it's loading Z shell or oh my Z shell by default. If we want to go back to the bash, we just type bash and we are in bash again. If we want Z shell again, we can type Z shell and here we go. We are on Z shell. We can check the default shell by typing echo dollar sign shell. The default one is Z shell. We can change this, for example, to bash again by typing this, enter the password. If we retype this command, Z shell still shows because we need to refresh the terminal. So now bash is a default one. Let's confirm that by typing this. Now it's bash. If we open it again, it's bash. Okay. We want Z shell. So let's go back to the default one by typing which Z shell password again. And we have Z shell again. From Z shell, let's test the SSH connection to GitHub. And now it asks for the passphrase. And it keeps asking because we didn't automate the SSH passphrases inside the configuration file for Z shell. So we need to do the same process for Z shell as we did for bash. Now we nano.zshellrc, go down and we paste the code here. We save it, yes, enter. Now, when we open the terminal again, can test the connection to GitHub and it works automatically. Great. Oh my Zshell provides a cool auto-completion interactive functionality when you use tab. So for example, here we are at data engineering zoom camp folder. Then I can hit CD space tab two times and then I can use the arrows in the keyboard to navigate through the possibilities within this folder. So imagine I want to get into projects. I just go there. I hit enter two times and I'm inside projects. Then I can CD back and oh my Z shell also provides out of the box functionalities to improve Git workflows. For example, I can run fetch pull and I see that this repository is already up to date comparing to the remote repository. However, imagine I edit one file. Let's do that to the readme file. Let me add a hello world here. Let's save the file. Now you see there's an X here. This X tells me that I have unstaged changes. If I run git status, I see that readme.md file has been modified. And because it's unstaged and not committed yet, I see that I have changes to be committed. This sign tells me that. And this is just one example of terminal customizations that is possible. It really improves the way you interact with the terminal and can improve your productivity. Then if I run git restore space dot, I can ignore these modifications and the sign will disappear because our local repository is already up to date again. Cool.